Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing the infamous moving back to boarding school. <laughs> These seem to be so popular every single year, but this is not an ordinary moving back to boarding school. This is moving back to boarding school for the final time. Guys, I'm going into my last year at school. It may be hard to believe, but I'm actually finishing school this year. So this is going to be my last ever time moving into boarding school, which is kind of crazy because I've been doing this for, this is my fourth time moving in. So it's gonna be weird, but yeah, as always, I'm going to be vlogging it, taking you guys along the journey. Just a little background. Today is Tuesday, the 5th of September. I don't move in until tomorrow, Wednesday, but we're going to school today to like set up my room just so tomorrow I don't have like a lot to do. We just figured it would be easier to kind of break up a little bit because the years previously it has been a lot of work to set up more than one day. So we're doing it so we just have plenty of time and if there's stuff that we need to take to school or take back from school then we can do that as well. So that's why this video is going to be filmed over two days, today and tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started with moving back into boarding school. So this year I've managed to fit everything into two suitcases which is a first ever. <laughs> it's literally like just this and I'm so proud of myself. We are going to start packing up the car and start bringing everything. So we'll bring that tomorrow. Not just that, we need to check that it's actually going to fit in your room first yeah. before we attempt to put it in the car because that is going to be a challenge and you might have to sit in the back. That's fine. But I'm praying it does fit because it will make my room look so nice. Yeah, but I think we are going to head off to school now. Currently 10 past 12. Okay, we are headed off. I took some pictures in front of the car. Ready for the last time of setting up a boarding house? dorm, room, whatever you want to Four call it. Four years, guys. Four years I've been doing this. And it's always just as hard work as the year before. But this time we're more prepared and I think it'll be fine. Okay, guys, this is my new room. Ta-da! We just went downstairs and found all of like my boxes and stuff from last year and now we are going to start unpacking. I don't really know how we're going to do this. I think probably just start by taking stuff out and then we'll go from there. We're starting with the desk. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, we've done a little bit of the desk, but we don't really know what decal we're going to have left. So we're going to attack the snack cupboard, which is obviously by my bed. It is every year so that I don't have to move if I want a snack. Change of plans, that cupboard is too small. So it's going under my desk. Right, we're making a start on this suitcase. Mama's made a start on the wardrobe and I'm going to dig into these two drawers. I'm going to put all my gymnastic stuff in there, so. Right, I am going to do the cork board because I feel like once that's done, the room will kind of start to feel more together. So, I've made a start to it. I need to bring some more pictures from home because there are a lot of gaps. I wasn't really sure how big it was going to be, but at least it started. So this is what the room looks like now. 
it's starting to get better. We are getting there slowly. Currently, guys, I'm trying to stick my sign on my door. But these doors aren't like the other ones. You can't, like, stick pins in them. So we're trying to blue tack it instead. <laughs> Okay, desk update. She's looking okay now. I've put some fairy lights all the way around and we've kind of figured out the layout. So now we're going to try putting some fairy lights around here and then when we go home uh, later tonight I'll like get more photos. And we also got the bed sorted. I don't know if I showed you guys. I do have one more pillow and a blanket to come as well. But I don't actually know if I'll put the pillow on because I don't think it'll look great. So we've officially finished for today. Mama's seen on my son. So this is what the desk looks like. The bed and then the wardrobe. As I said earlier, we are going to bring the mirror tomorrow, so I will show you guys that whole process, and we're hoping for that to sit, I think, there, because I think that'll be a nice place for it to go. So we've got a little bag of stuff that we're wanting to put, like, either in it or on it. It has been quite a painful process because it is so hot. It's like, <laughs> one of the warmest days of the year, and these rooms are not very cool. Let me show you my view also. I can see, like, trees and stuff which is quite nice as well. So the plans next are I need to get changed into my gym stuff and then we are going to go and have some dinner. Although we finished an hour and a half early. An hour early. But maybe by the time like we get there and stuff we'll be fine. Yeah. I'm in my gym stuff. It is slightly cooler since I'm not in jeans but this is still absolutely boiling. Anyways, we are now going to put everything back in the car because I've got some stuff from last year which I'm not using so we're going to take that back home. Um, and then yeah, go out for some dinner. Oh, we made it we've got everything in the car to take home we have made it to lunch strike dinner so let's go we have made it we're gonna have some nice food and just a, a nice long leisurely dinner before you start training this is what it looks like So I've just ordered some fries and some onion rings. This wasp will not leave me alone because I think if I eat like a full meal, I probably won't be able to tumble because I'll be so. So I've got some onion rings and chips. Mama's got salad. She's throwing on the floor. Okay, we just finished with dinner. Currently the time is quarter past five and I don't start gym until 6.30. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to gym and walk around the grounds because there's like a really big green area to walk around. There's a big like stately home isn't there that there used to be I'm assuming. <laughs> You guys, it is officially move-in day, like proper, proper move-in day. So, all I've done this morning is I've got myself ready and I've just started packing the final things. So like all of my beauty stuff, my pajamas and things that I couldn't pack until this morning. The main task of today is to get that big mirror into the car, into the boarding house. We don't know if it's gonna fit in the car and I'm like praying it does because that's kind of going to be like the whole mantelpiece of my room. So fingers crossed, pray for me guys please that this mirror is going to fit in the car. I honestly have like super mixed emotions about going back to school today I mean I'm always like that like it's always quite an emotional time but we're doing okay so far so yeah that's all that's going on right now I will update you guys when we start getting things going okay I'm in the garage and our current task is trying to get this mirror into the car so this is the mirror as you can tell it's not really as long as I thought but it's quite like thick but we've only got a little car that's our car there so we'll see if this fits so we have just brought everything downstairs there's really not a lot to take this time apart from this bag some towels and then a little suitcase it's time to say goodbye to the house oh don't worry about mummy yeah. then <laughs> not saying goodbye to you yet like in between the mirror and i just made it fall over and i have to slide your feet this is the current situation I failed to remember that my car is in. 
It's okay. Okay, after some pushing and shoving, we've managed to get the mirror in the car. Not my brightest of ideas. We're going shopping now, just to like pick up a few things. My school trousers that have been tailored are ready, so I'm going to get those. And then we're just going to pick up some final things. So how I'm going to get out of the car, we haven't quite figured out yet. But we'll, we'll get to there when we need to. <laughs> we have made it to the shopping centre. Now it's going to be the task of getting out of the car. Okay, we're back from our mini shopping trip. We've got some lunch. Hungrying. Mama's got a... What have you got? A pasty? Mmm. And I've got a gigantic sausage roll. <laughs> right, we've made it to school. So we're going to do the same as yesterday. Bring everything inside and then I will be back with you guys. We have done the impossible. <laughs> Two flights of stairs. How many corridors? And like, like slit and fire doors in between. <laughs> but look, it's made it and I'm so excited. I think we're going to pop it here. Excuse me, but I am an amazing mama for doing this for you because <laughs> getting that in the car is quite something. Yeah, I do love my new room. The only downside is the sun is like blooming in the whole day, so it's quite what warm. What you in want here. to say is it's west facing. So. <laughs> right, let's try and set this mirror up. After some hard work, we've got the shelves. Now we just basically need to do like the finishing touches. Oh yeah, yeah baby. Big reveal. Da, 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 da. Right guys, we've had a bit of a malfunction. We screwed the circles on the wrong way. <laughs> so you can see all of the black thingies. After some serious problems later, we flipped it around so now the bottom is white and it doesn't have the black on it. Look, I pretty much have like an actual room. Guys, I just said goodbye to my mum, so it's just me, myself and I again. But I still have some final things that I need to do to finish off my room. I need to put all the stuff inside my mirror and then finish off my photo wall. So at least that'll give me something to do tonight. We have a meeting at 7. I did not miss those at all. <laughs> I'm actually obsessed with how my room looks. It is nice at sunset because the lighting is perfect, but I've got myself some dinner, egg fried rice, very, ooh, very self-explanatory, but all of my friends are like not here, which is quite depressing, but it's okay because we're going to meet the new people at seven, so I'm just going to eat this, watch something, and wait until seven. I have just organized the inside of my mirror so I haven't really got like a whole lot of stuff to put in but this is really really freed up my top drawer so that I can just put like stationery and stuff in here so it's really really helped kind of declutter and I think it's so cute I have also done the shelves I'll show you those now I don't really know how I'm feeling about the shelves and whether or not I'll keep them like that but they're like that for now I've also finished my pin board off with all of the pictures. Look how aesthetic the lighting is. It's quite a lot later on now. I just went downstairs and had my meeting and then I spoke to one of my friends for a while. But look, it's dark and I've got all my fairy lights on and it looks so cute. I actually am in love with my room. It's so cozy. So yeah, had a catch up with everyone just to kind of see how everyone's summer and stuff was. But I think I'm just going to chill now. I also need to get ready for school tomorrow because I do not know what I'm wearing, what I'm doing with my hair or anything. Actually, what am I doing with my hair? That's a really good question. The weirdest thing about my new room is the fact that we have this little bathroom between the four of us. Like, I keep on walking all the way down the corridor to go to, like, the big main bathrooms, but we have this super cute one all to ourselves, and it's super nice, and it's literally right outside my door, so it's absolutely perfect. I keep on forgetting, and it's so strange that, like, this is here. Time to pack my school bag. This feels really, really strange to be doing this. Unfortunately, tomorrow I have one of every lesson, which means I literally need all of my books, which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. Okay, guys, it is time for me to go to bed and get ready for the school day. So I really hope that you enjoyed watching this moving back to boarding school video. The final one, I cannot believe that this is it, like the last one. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching it and I will see you again very, very soon for another video. Bye.